Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market leading stocks via our proprietary scans for the coming session. This is going to be for Tuesday, April 28th, 2015. Had a bit of a volume bump here on, on some um, on some different names. We've got Apple reporting after the close, and that's obviously tracking some volume. Apple closed with an upside CPS, so that's interesting for tomorrow, but obviously the uh, earnings have everything to do with that. Uh, Amgen closed down very, very weekly today. Uh, Almost 3% below the day is open. We did have a really nice short in that and really profited from that one. But as you can see, we've got a scattering of buys and sells here with maybe a little bit of a lean to the sell side. But again, uh, as always, the, uh, the earnings and uh, the market thinks of them more importantly will uh, be the ultimate arbiter. Financials uh, don't have that balanced uh, uh, look to the scans that the NASDAQ patch has. The uh, financials here are definitely lined up to the downside. So keep an eye on these. Make sure you review your charts there. Moving on to the energy names again. These are these are uh, skewed to the downside again. Uh, mostly uh, mostly CPS varieties here. So those are the ones to really focus on. Uh, Rig did have an upside RPS, but that one's on light volume, so that's got to be taken uh, with a little bit of a grain of salt. The uh, generals uh, stacked up to the downside more so than the, uh, the than the Nasdaq uh, in general. Uh, so keep it on things with volume. McDonald's almost a VWAP deviation. And uh, UNH is also really close to a VWAP deviation there. So we're going to have some very negative candles on these charts. Here's a look at uh, the housings. Uh, no signals here, but just general weakness across the board. We are going to get some uh, some more data, uh, housing data coming out later on this week. So keep an eye out for that. Transport's a little bit skewed to the, uh, to the downside for now. UPS had the biggest volume, and that one does have a downside CPS. Moving on to the commodities, uh, the uh, gold shares were kind of moving around here, but uh, had some pretty good sell-offs. Newmont Mining sold off fairly aggressively uh, towards the end of the day, closing right around the VWAP. Um, and some of these are actually um, uh, quite quite below the VWAP. Look at uh, ADX here, and that's on volume. So keep an eye on these for tomorrow. These are definitely uh, going to be in play, and they, they tend to move around a bit uh, before the Fed meeting, especially uh, after what happened uh, with the dollar. Uh, at the last Fed meeting. So I think there's still going to be some focus on these and some energy into the meeting. Remember, the meeting starts tomorrow, but it's a two-day meeting, so we don't get the uh, don't get the rate decision in the uh, language associated with that until Wednesday afternoon. Uh, this particular meeting, though, just just be aware there is no uh, there is no uh, press conference for the chairperson, so we're just going to get the uh, just going to get the the announcement, uh, the language, and then we're going to have to uh, figure it out from there. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for Kids.